Now we want to take a look at the average sales by day of the week. Apart from using line charts to display trends, using um, ribbon chart to show trends when you want to visualize several categories and you are interested in seeing how the categories change in rank over that period of time, another type of visual you can use for displaying um, periodic data is to use column charts. So now I'm going to select a column chart here and then I'm going to drag this and place it by the side of my sales trend by month. And of course, I want to readjust it and make it fit into the space that I want. Again, you can see that I'm basically using the guides to make sure the size of the chart is equal to the one right beside it. Because at the end of the day, the aesthetics and how you place elements in your report page, the whole arrangement is also extremely important. So this is going to be somehow like this for me. And let me ensure the height is exactly on the same place. So now I just want to show the average sales by day of the week. So if I go to pick um, weekday, I think we call it day name in Power Query. So I'm just going to select day name and then I'm going to go to select my sales. And of course, because I really want to use average of the sales and not the sum of the sales, what I'm going to do is I will come to click on the drop down for sum of sales here and I'm going to change it to average. Now, the next thing you are going to realize is that the arrangement of the date. So let me go to focus mode. So you can see that the arrangement of the date is not in the right order. So when it comes to reporting um, categorical data, there are certain things you have to note before you present the reporting. So some categories of data usually have their natural orders. Something like months, for example, it has natural order from January to December. Days of the week have natural orders. It could be from Sunday to Saturday, or it could be from Monday to Sunday, like in our own case right now. So, but what happens is by default, every time you present any kind of data on your chart in Power BI, that data will always either be sorted or arranged by the highest value to the lowest value or it is going to be arranged in alphabetical orders, right? That's the two kind of arrangements you will always see by default. So for example, now, if you want to change the sorting arrangement of this data, you can click on the ellipses at the top of the chart, then you are going to see an option to sort axis. So when I hover on the option to sort axis, you will see that I have two options here. Either I sort by the name of the day, which is basically going to be in alphabetical order, or I sort by the value, right? So currently I'm sorting by the value, or it is sorting by the value currently, which is the sales amount. That's why you see the one with the highest average sale by the day is at the top, and the one with the lowest is at the extreme uh, right-hand side. So I want to make sure that my sorting actually is going to be based on day name, rather than the average of sales so if i click on day name like this then you will see that the sorting has now changed into alphabetical orders right now this sorting in alphabetical orders is still uh showing wednesdays first so you know w is the last one in this alphabetical orders now with f being the first right but that's still not what we want to do we just basically need this thing to have its own natural order but power bi would not understand that there's a natural order to your data when you have a column that, that has text values so if i go to our data view now to check what this thing looks like if i scroll over to the right hand side where we have the day name this is our day name. So what we always have to do when we know that we have data categories like this that have their own natural order because every text column you have in your data. So for example, if I have to visualize subcategories, for example, if I decide to sort by the name of the subcategory, every single time at will always come first because it's the one that starts with A. Right now, that's the kind of behavior we have in our report. By the day names, uh friday will either come first or last depending on whether we are sorting ascending or descending but we know that this column has a natural kind of ordering 
and the ordering is going to be based on you know the day of the week number that we have created here so what we'll do is we are going to select this day name and then at the top of your power bi you will see column tools tab is going to be active then we will look for the button that says sort by column now when i select the sort by column button i'm simply going to ask this day name to be sorted by this column that contains the numbers which is a day of week so i'm going to select day of week so now when i go back to my report view we are going to see that the sorting has now changed though it is now sorting from sunday saturday friday thursday wednesday all the way to monday and we kind of wanted the other way around to be monday tuesday wednesday thursday so i'm going to come back here to this ellipsis and then i will go to the sort axis and it's sorting by the day name correctly as i want it to do but i want to sort it ascending and not descending so i'm just going to select ascending and we are going to have the correct sort order and the only other thing i just want to do is of course i'm going to want to apply um shadows to this chart at the same time i'm also going to want to remove the y axis title and the x axis title now that's something i've already done on this visual before so what i will simply do is i'm going to select the visual that has the kind of formatting i want to apply i will go to the home tab and i'm going to select format painter that means i'm trying to copy some formats that have been applied to this visual then I will right, come outside right here to the place where I want to use the format that I've just copied. And I'm just going to go somewhere on the chart, uh, on an empty place within the chart. And I'm going to touch that place with a brush. And you will see that automatically my Y axis title, my X axis titles have also disappeared. And I also have shadow now applied to this visual.